West Australia is a remarkable place to live. Perth itself spreads about 120 kilometres from north to south, and it's one of the lowest population densities in the world. But with the amount of people calling Perth home predicted to double by 2040, urban planners are now calling for a smarter way to manage our city's growth. As we continue to push the boundaries of our beloved city, most agree that it's just not sustainable. To get an idea on where we're heading, I caught up with Minister for Transport and Planning, Rita Safiotti. Now with Perth's population expected to double by 2040 to over 4 million people, uh, do you think we're ready to handle such an increase? Yeah, I think so. And of course, we've got some real exciting opportunities for new developments around the suburbs. And what we're seeing, of course, is some new infrastructure. For example, Metronet being delivered up to Yanship, down to Byford, up to Ellenbrook. We've got that combination of new housing developments connected with modern infrastructure and some of the new um, developments around the existing train stations. I think most people would agree that they'd like to see a more vibrant, activated CBD. Given the urban sprawl we're seeing to the north, south and east, do you think that's an achievable goal? Absolutely. I think more and more we're seeing people make choices to live in apartments or medium density in the townhouses. Also seeing a lot of younger people wanting new places to live, which might not need all the care and maintenance the traditional homes have had. So what that brings is more people in certain areas, around train stations, around shopping centres, along high streets, to create more vibrancy and activation. And that's something we're very keen to work with the community on. So in the context of the recent government grants for uh, building and renovating, um, and clearly we're in a recovery path out of the pandemic, um, can we extend these grants to make for a more sustainable solution? It's something that the government's considering at the moment. We know that the grants have really created a lot of activity and we're looking at how we can sustain that activity over the longer term and it's something we're considering at the moment. So you've recently streamlined the development approvals and cut red tape in the local planning system and obviously there's a demand for uh, urban development. Do you think it's time West Australians gave up on the dream for their quarter acre block? Well I think people want choice. You can have a new house and land package or a new townhouse. Our aim is to give people choice and that's what all of our reforms are, are aimed at. Choice in the type of house that you want to be in. Minister, thanks so much for your time. Thank you very much. There will always be a careful and measured balance between effective urban sprawl and a vibrant inner city. So the reality is that both are needed if Perth is to continue on its journey in becoming one of the most livable cities on the planet. So keeping this in mind, if you are considering developing your block or need help with an existing property, please do reach out to one of the award-winning team at the agency. We pride ourselves in helping you on your real estate journey.